Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a five minute spot. Uh, I've been waiting for the sun uh, to hit the mountains like it is right now. Look behind me, this is what I have to put up with every day. Storm front came through and I was waiting till just before the sunset, seeing how beautiful that is. Isn't that awesome? God is good. Let us trust him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. I want to encourage you today. There's a saying I've heard from a number of people. And we do believe in positive thinking. As a man thinketh, so is he. We want our hearts to be in tune to the heart of God. We want our minds to be renewed to the mind of Christ. And we want our words to be in tune with the rhema of the spirit, the word of the spirit. And the saying is, can't wait till it gets back to normal. Can't wait till it gets back to normal. For crying out loud, folks, we're not going back. Jesus said, any man that puts his hand to the plow and looks back is not fit for the kingdom. Folks, we're not looking back. God's got a glorious future. And the Bible guarantees us this promise in Romans 8, 28. All things work together for the good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. All things are not good, but all things can work together for the good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. So I'm encouraging you today, set your eyes on the Lord. What is the Lord teaching you? Where is God leading you? He's got a better future, a better tomorrow. And 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. If any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things are passing away. We're not going back. And all things are becoming new. Let's trust the Lord. Let's put our faith in him. Surely he knows what he has in our future. It's like, are we going to hang on to past baggage? Or are we going to pack new luggage for a glorious future? What's God doing right now? We're not going back. And we're not conforming to normal. What is normal? The apathy and the, the lethargy and the indifference we've seen of yesterday? No, God's waking us all up. There's a wake-up call for all of us. Normal, as defined, is approximately average in. Who wants to be approximately average in anything? Conformity to a standard, usual, regular, natural. No, God has called us the supernatural. He's partnering with us. He's joking with us. He wants to bless us and he wants to lead us. Look at that creation behind us. It declares the glory of God and wants it. God even more so wants to declare his glory in us. The only part of the definition of normal that I do believe in is free from infection, mental disorder, uh, and truly we are looking for that. And we're looking for a future that uh, people are not out of work. We're looking for a time when God's blessing upon us. We all have jobs and we're working our position doing things that we love to do and God wants to do that but normal Albert Einstein wasn't normal and look at all that he had done in fact in history people that today we label and medicate have proven in history to perform inventions discoveries performance in battles and movements in times and cultures and countries and change history for good. Sure, there was a lot of unstable people, but history proves the fact. Ab, people that are not normal, what we call abnormal today, did wonderful and great things. I'm encouraging you today. You are unique. Your fingerprint is unique. Your personality is unique. Your background is unique. Your experiences are unique, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But God can use all those things and work them together for your good if you love him and entrust him as he leads you and moves in your life. Truly, we don't want to go back. We're learning so much right now. We're getting taught by the Spirit of God. We're moving forward. He has a glorious future. We don't want to be average. We don't want to be usual. We don't want to be standard. We don't want to standardize. We want people to be unique and accomplish unique tasks and perform unique acts for God. This is what God wants to do. And so I'm going to pray right now for you as you get a lot of influx of negative talk. 
And it's important that you filter those things out. The Bible says, guard your heart, for out of it are the issues of life. Out of the abundance of heart, the mouth speaks. Be careful what you're hearing. Remember yesterday we talked about Mark 4, 23 through 25. It says, be careful what you hear. Because as you receive it and respond to it, with the intensity that you receive it and respond to it, that's the intensity that will be effective in your life. The good and the bad. So I'm encouraging today, put your eyes on the Lord. Get excited about what he's doing. He has a glorious future for you. He's working things together for you. And you're a new creation. Old things are passing away. Let, let the past be past. Paul said, I forget those things which are behind. I press on towards the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. It's a high calling. It's not average. It's not usual. It is glorious. So right now, Heavenly Father, bless your people. Bless those that that are in need and they're desperately looking for a rock to stand on. You are the rock. You are our rock. Thank you for all that you've done and all that you're doing. Creation itself declares the glory of God. And may you be glorified in us. May you use us. May you teach us and train us and prepare us for a, a better tomorrow. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Isn't that a beautiful scenery behind me? That's, that's God at work, and he wants to work in your life. So trust him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Amen. God bless.